Visalis offers a multitude of products to increase your fitness level, your lean muscle, and even your income. ViFit can help you get healthy and build lean muscle whether you are on the field or in the stands. Or if you need to shed some pounds to kickstart your health regimen, accepting the 90-day challenge can bring you above or beyond your goal. Visalis is also becoming a popular method of fundraising for booster clubs, allowing teams to get healthier bodies and budgets. Contact Brandy today at 678-294-1153 to find out how Visalis can improve your life. We are a proud sponsor of the Bartow Sports Showcase Hey, this is Mary Elizabeth. And Will. Louie, come back here. <laughs> anyway, while Will chases Louie down, I want to talk to you about Louie's Cafe. We're located in the Goodwill Shopping Center right across from the hospital on Highway 41. We're open from 6.30 to 2, Monday through Friday, and we offer a full breakfast Saturday mornings. Here, you hold them. <laughs> We have fresh sandwiches, delicious salads, and the best coffee in town. With our indoor and outdoor seating, drive through call-ahead ordering, and a full line of catering, we make it easy to fit breakfast or lunch into your schedule. We may not be the best thing since sliced bread, but we are the best thing on it. Come, Come see, see us, us at, at Louie's Cafe. Cafe. Up, it got pretty bad here for a minute. The hail got to about the side, about yeah, quarters. Show so. everybody with your fingers. How well, I'm showing are. you. <laughs> I, I'm showing you. It's about this big, about about that big. And after it after it got done, there was a rainbow, and it it was landed right behind the tower. That's awesome. It, it was it was just beautiful. And Brandy got out there in the middle of the storm. I mean, it was almost done. She got there in the middle of the storm, took a picture. It's up on the Bartow Buzzard page where you can see the <laughs> rainbow coming down behind the tower. It was just awesome. It was just preparing for me to arrive. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it was. <laughs> Since uh, it happened like an hour ago and hey, you just no, now got no here. Sense of, nothing wrong with being prepared. Oh, Lord. So but, what's, what's the Cass Woodland game going to look like this weekend? Well, what's, what, 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 what records are we holding so far? Woodland's number three in the region. Cass is number six. Mm-hmm. Cass's overall record is better than Woodland's. Cass is Cass is six and two overall. Woodland six and three. Okay. But in the region, Woodland's got two more wins Woodland. than Cass. So. Well, this is this is a big game for both of them because uh, it's still early in the season. Yep. I mean, having a two loss season, you know, obviously you don't want to go three loss. So that's you know. That's well, spe- especially being a region game. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's going to have a lot more implications on it, and then it being a county rival puts yeah. a, that much more on it. I definitely had to listen in on that one. Yeah, it's going to be a good game. If y'all are out there, you get a chance to go watch it. Obviously, that's the best. But if you can't watch it, listen to it here on WYXC. That's, that's the, right. That's we'll, the way to hear a game. We'll be bringing it to you live. Cartersville getting to uh, they 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 won Thursday night over Cedar Town seven to five. They are now seven and one overall, four and zero oh in the region. They're number four in the state, number one in the region. Awesome. They are just steamrolling everybody. After that Parkview game, I don't see how there's going to be a whole lot of people that can beat them. Yeah. Well, they, let's keep the momentum, guys, going, guys, and <laughs> blah, 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 see, and uh, you know, take it one game at a time. That's the biggest thing I see, especially in high school um, and college too. You know, the biggest thing you get, you start getting a big win, you get that big pillow. It's like big cushion of, oh, we got this covered. We beat the biggest team so far, and they won't prepare right, and they'll get slaughtered by someone that's a that, zero and five. <laughs> that, that hasn't been the case. Coach Chester, uh, Coach Tucker, Coach Startup over there, they do a great job getting these kids ready oh, every yeah. week. They they know they know to keep them prepared. A lot of the guys, they've got two returning starters. One of them, Zach Ross, center fielder, who's a great leadoff hitter. He he makes some ESPN top ten catches out in that outfield, nice. uh, and, and it's it's amazing. And then they've got Kendall Hawkins, who was one of their pitchers last year, but now he's their key ace on the mound for Cartersville this year, and he's thrown some great games. The two games that we've done for him, he's thrown some incredible games. And uh, we, we have got a caller on the line. Caller, you're on the Bartow Sports Showcase. Who's this? Hey, what's up, everybody? What's going on, Todd? See, here's the, I'm going to tell you the best thing about baseball season. What's that? Well, that's when you get Jair Jordan in his first television televised interview because here's how it goes it goes baseball and batty batty to me 
<laughs> oh my god. Todd, you walking a thin line there, buddy. <laughs> Very, very good to me. Oh, my God. Boy, I, I can tell you're glad it's Friday just like I am. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know what? that cabinet I've got? Do what? Do what? That cabinet I've got in store. Yeah, I was going to ask you, have you been hiding in the office here after uh, 6? Yeah, uh, been very, very good to me. <laughs> Cure for the Friday blues. That's right. Yeah, he's got a, a special friend that's a high-ranking officer. and uh, Yeah, that, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it's tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, tomorrow is St. Patrick's yeah, Day. Uh, Don't pre-medicate. Uh, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and we've got three birthdays next week in uh, Ohio. Oh, dear. Woo. Oh, dear. Well, make sure you listen to the baseball game tomorrow on WYXC, okay? They will. Here's the thing, brother. You're not there yet, but I've got two teenagers. I had to deal with John. It, it, yeah. It, it, gets, it gets harder than it is for you right now. <laughs> I can only imagine. Well, he's, uh, no, you can't. He, he, see, he sees me a good bit, so I... I, I it's, I like dealing with it, it's like dealing with a teenager oh, most of the time. Brother, I really am. I'm giggling at you. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. If it's any consolation, I'm giggling at you now. <laughs> <laughs> we do that a lot. But, you know, I'll get a taste of that medicine later down the road. Uh, yeah, especially if you have a daughter. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. All right, brother. Will right, you be man. good? We pre- been very, very good to me. <laughs> I'm glad we're very, very good to you. Have a good weekend. We'll see you, Todd. You got to talk to All right, bye. <laughs> bye. Todd is a mess. Oh, yeah. I, I, Todd is a mess. Absolutely. I appreciate him calling in. He calls in. I mean, we have a good time with him, but Todd is a mess. I can't help it. I think he likes to harass you. He does. I think everyone does, really. Everybody You're generally does. a big target. I am. Yeah. yeah. It happens. That's okay. It'll be all right. Good time. I like to harass you, though. Everyone does. Yeah, that's I true. work with three women. I get harassed all the time. Yeah, I know. All the time. It's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> Biggest surprise for uh, the, the baseball season right now is a Daresville. Their overall record is two and four. They've lost some close ones. They've lost some a little bit bigger ones. Yeah. Cass being one of the ones they've lost, one of the bigger ones too. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me, can you take a guess as to what rank they are in the region, what position they are in the region? Third. First? First. Wow. They are 1-0 and in the region. What? Yeah. I mean. Hey, that's something. That is something. They Go they, Tigers, number one. <laughs> Hey, we'll take whatever we can get it. It's, it's exactly right. You've got – I mean, the overall record is important, but the region record is more important than the overall record because that will help – that will get you into the playoffs when that overall record is just kind of an overview of the whole season. And Absolutely. They, well, that may be what they – you know, give them some motivation. These guys have had a hard start to the season. And, uh, yeah. you know, th- maybe this will give them some motivation. So, like, guys, we may be having a rough start to the season, and, you know, maybe we're talking to some of them right now. Or maybe we have some parents of them out there. You know, the record isn't that great for the beginning of the season, but you are still winning your region. You still have an opportunity to to finish the season and to make something happen this year. So don't, you know, don't count them out before the season's over. Oh, Dave, by the way, if y'all want to call in and talk about some stuff, we probably mentioned the phone number, 770-382-1270. I'm so bad at that. Yeah, that's okay. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> that's why they pay me nothing. Yeah. And um, anyway, so y'all want to call and talk about some high school sports, you're obviously going to be getting some college sports in the in the bottom of the hour. In the bottom of the hour? Yes. I haven't got this top bottom Atta thing boy. You No, know, you got that It's right. like Shady Grady's waxing from, and waning from, moon. From 6 to 6.30 is top of the hour. From uh-huh. 6.30 to 7 is bottom of the hour. Kind of like baseball. Kind of like baseball. Ah, I see how. See, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, hey, 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 all right, sports all right. terminology. Just plug, <laughs> plug that into radio terminology. We got, anyways, y'all want to call and talk? Give us a shout. We'd love to talk to you. 770 382 1270. I'm trying to see if I, I can find my friend from last week, Miss Cindy Lou, who, who uh, did, call, did call in last week for a brief second. And I'm trying to talk her into calling back in. She, she's a lot of fun to talk to on Facebook. So I'm trying to get Miss Cindy Lou, who out there if she's listening or if someone that knows her is listening tell her we are anticipating a call from her tonight <laughs> we will have kevin on on here briefly uh kevin's uh we finally got his contract stuff straightened out Good. i mean that's that's been a fight uh getting this contract figured out his agent finally got back with us and it's just been a battle i just 
I, I can't stand dealing with agents. I'm going to have to get my people to talk to his people from now on. It's just, yeah. I ain't doing it no yeah. more. You can talk to my agent. Her name's Mary Elizabeth. <laughs> she gets paid twice what I do. No, I thought that was the boss. No, no, no. Louis the boss. Yeah. You got to get the hierarchy right. I got, I got the hierarchy right now. I'm sorry. She's your agent. Louis the boss. And well, I'm I'm under the totem pole holding it up. You can't see me. I'm below the ground. <laughs> You're but I am on the totem pole. I'm just under the ground. Well, yeah. I mean that'll work. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> uh, Peyton Manning worked out for the Broncos and the 49ers today. I'm gunning for the Broncos. I would love to see him get in there with Tebow, work together. I think I think Peyton's obviously with this move with his. Uh, you know, with him being released like this, that's got to be a little bit of a light turning on. Like maybe my career is going to have an end at some point. Yeah, if I'm getting released because he's st- it, it's not like he had a bad. You know, he's a bad quarterback. It's not like no. he's getting old and decrepit and can't move. He still moves pretty good for an old fella. He's not that old, but <laughs> either way, I would love to see him get in there with uh, with Tim Tebow and uh, see them work together. See him help Tebow develop because last year Tebow did well. The, you know, next year was especially with some leadership like that from a senior uh, senior quarterback. Yeah, he he got better, especially throwing the ball later on in the season. Mm-hmm. But with Peyton coming in, who is that pocket passer, one and one of the best to ever play? Yeah, I think he'll be able to help Tebow, who could be the quarterback of the future for the Broncos. I think so. He could help bring him along in in when it comes to that. But I do believe we've got. Mr. Kevin Weekly on the line. How's it going, Kevin? Well, he was there. Kevin, you there? Did you hook the phone line up right? Yes, I hooked the phone line up sure? right. Yes. I think he sat the phone down for a minute. <laughs> it happened. Kevin, if you're listening to the radio, come back to the phone. <laughs> Anyways, back to what we were saying. You remember back in uh, 2000 yeah. and... Oh, there he is. Hey, Kevin. Did you wash your hands? <laughs> no, I was... <laughs> <laughs> He says 30 minutes faster free. <laughs> good to talk to you, brother. How you doing? I'm good. What's happening? Oh, we're just talking a little bit of pro football right now to be getting the good stuff at college. <laughs> have you, uh, if y'all talk baseball, I had y'all, I had you turned on, and then I had to turn it down while I was calling in. I was talking to the boys in Savannah trying to get an update from River Street. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, we talk, yeah, we talked a little high school baseball briefly, uh, our, our biggest surprise is the Darrells will sitting at two and four overall. They're one and zero oh in the region and number one in the region. It, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. You know that Georgia plays Tennessee tonight at mm-hmm. seven o'clock to open up the SEC. Oh yep. yeah, yep. And I was looking at the standings in, in the SEC East in the nation. Florida's ranked number one. South Carolina's ranked number two. That's in the nation. Wow. Well, no we SEC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I still, you know, I always want Georgia to be number one. But man, it makes me so happy to see anyone in the SEC number one. Well, oh yeah. yeah we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teams in the top twenty. Go that SEC. Is, that is insane. In the SEC. That's that why insane? everybody's dropping their conferences and heading our way because they want to recruit <laughs> somebody. <laughs> that includes Texas A&M number nine. Well, you know, it, I've, already, I've already taken them on since they broke the top ten. Well, they're technic technically they they paid their almost fifteen million dollars to the Big Twelve to come to the SEC. So you know they're technically involved. If you go to the SEC um, headquarters in Birmingham, they're, they're on the flag. See. So technically, them and Missouri both. So we've got a we got a couple big teams in the basketball tournament. We got a couple got a whole bunch of teams in the top twenty in baseball. So we're doing pretty good. Yeah. Hey, if y'all out there want to call in and talk to Kevin or us or all three of us or none of us and just talk about yourself on the radio, give us a call seven seven zero three eight two twelve seventy. And uh, especially you got some uh, Georgia Georgia questions. Kevin is the man to talk to with Georgia questions. Kevin is the man. What do you think about what the Peyton Manning thing, Kevin? I don't know. I was hoping Tennessee might get him. <laughs> I mean, that was putting him back in the state of Tennessee. Yeah. Um, and I, it looks like, I mean, from what I saw today, it looks like San Francisco's leading the pack. 
Ah. It's between them and I think the Broncos. I'm I'm gunning for the Broncos. And what I was getting to, you remember in 0, it was 07, Chris Leak, when they won the ch- national championship, it was Chris Leak and Tebow. And you had the, the run and gun passer and you had the pocket passer. Yeah. And I could see that because that combination works so well. Kevin, we got a caller coming in, Kevin, so let's, let's get this caller. You're on the Bartow Sports Showcase. Who's this? Bob Black. Hey, Bob, what's going on? Uh, just another lovely day in South Georgia. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Have the love bugs got out yet? No, the love bugs haven't got out. We've seen the sand nest a few times so far this spring. Oh, well, dear. Oh, we haven't okay. seen the love bugs yet. I always hate scraping things off a bumper. Hip, hip replacement? Knee uh, replacement? Not, not since I've had the hip replacement. I think we're going to go Sunday. The, guy, the, the federal government's got all the fisheries closed down here. There's no use of going offshore. You can't keep red, uh, red snapper. You can't keep black sea bass. It's just... You know, gas being put off at 23 cents, them twin 300s, drink a little bit of gas. Fish off the jetties and catch some old catfish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's about it. We can go right behind the King of Prince on St. Cloud and catch Whitey, but, uh, you know, that's kind of like grim. That's a lot of work for you. For a little food. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of like you know, small crab legs. To me, it's just not worth it. How, how, was the, uh, how was the redfish fishing down there this winter? Redfish, they've been okay. Uh, they caught a lot of big bullfish offshore. Yeah, uh, I hadn't heard a lot of you talk in the marshes and all down here like like they should be, but uh, but there again, I I'm kind of just an offshore guy. I don't I don't do. I've got a little 16 foot skiff, but you know I, I don't do a lot of fishing. I can't catch the tides right with work and all the other stuff. So yeah, yeah, you and me both. I'm not an inshore. I'm an offshore. Yeah, I like getting out there where you, you know it could be a 30 pound dolphin or a you know 10 pound kingfish or whatever. So it's just it's a lot of fun out there. Yeah, I'm just lucky to get my hook in the water. It's the wet stuff under the boat. Oh, oh, that's right. Uh, Kevin, let me talk to you about linebackers for a minute. Sure. I, uh, I was looking at the depth chart today, and, of course, the first four guys, you know, the, the starters, Darvis Jones and Washington and uh, Gilliard, uh, Ogletree, they did a great job. It was a great year. What, what's behind them? I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the inside backers. Look, I've got a couple of five and two twenty guys. You own. You got that back? Christian. You got that Christian Robinson guy who got in a little bit of trouble, but he, you know, he looked great. Right. South Carolina game. Did we um, do anything in the in the, uh, the recruiting linebacker for you? Yeah, well, yeah. You know who? You know who might come in and play immediately is Jordan Jenkins. Yeah. Jordan Jenkins. Where's he from? Where is he from? He is. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> I got, I'm drawing a blank on that one. Uh, um, I'll tell you in a minute. Um. He is I'll the kid you. that got all the publicity at the All-Star game that everybody thought he was going to Alabama. Right. And he could have gone anywhere. Could I mean, no, anywhere he, in the country. He's a five-star recruit, and he, he, he chose he Georgia. But he's kind of gone under the radar for some reason. But I saw today he's been working out. He um, he deadlifted 400 pounds today in a workout. in a 16-second wow. video he sent me, and his arms are about eight feet long. That's it. My <laughs> dad lifted 415 as a senior in high school. Come on. Is that right? <laughs> so, That's why I was a good steer wrestler. Is he a backer, Kevin? Huh? Will no, he, he, will, he, will play, um, he will probably play the wheel linebacker behind um, Washington and Reuben. That, that and Sterling, name, Bailey, Sterling Bailey's made a bunch of strides, they say. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, think- by, backing up. Jarvis Jones, I think it's Chase Vassar and T.J. Strip, Stripling. Hopefully, Stripling's finally well. Right, right. And, and those two guys are a bit well. Vassar's only like 227, but then you got that Puloji. How do you pronounce this? Ruben? Yeah, you Puloji. got it. Hey, guys. Guys, we got a hard break coming well, we up got here. A, I got a hard break here in about two minutes. If you'll hang on, we'll be right back, and we'll finish right. this conversation. Right, we'll be We'll be right back. Bartow right, Sports Showcase. Yeah, I'm here. Fox in the fast lane. It's not just fans who look forward to Bristol. Just ask Brad Kozlowski. Bristol's uh, uh, one of the tracks that I just circle every year on my calendar. And what makes it so special for Kozlowski? There are tracks that, you know, maybe have more prestige or, or pay bigger purses, but to me, Bristol is its the deal. But for Matt Kenseth, 
Racing on Bristol's half-mile track requires added focus because... It's one that's always a challenge. Uh, you need to be ready for it. It's a real, real fast track. Things happen in a, in a big hurry. And bad news for Jimmy Johnson's crew chief, Chad Knauss, losing an appeal this week challenging penalties received for failing the opening day inspection at the Daytona 500. The punishment included a six-race suspension for Knauss and Johnson's car chief, a $100,000 fine for Knauss, and Johnson losing 25 points. Team owner Rick Hendricks says they will appeal again this time to NASCAR's chief appellate officer. Fox in the Fast Lane. I'm Marge Tashina, Fox News Radio. Do you want a healthier alternative to a carbonated energy drink? Visalis Science has developed two instant and long-lasting energy drinks for more energy and better performance. Visalis Pro and Go energy drinks are designed for everyone that lives a very active lifestyle. Both drinks can be taken anytime for long-lasting energy and better performance. The great and natural way to get ready for that big game. To order, contact Brandon East at 404-642-7355. Visalis Pro and Go, the great alternative for healthy energy. Gather around your radios, my friends, and listen. For too long, we have spent our weekends driving back and forth from some home improvement warehouse, looking for the right kind of light bulbs, searching for an air filter that actually fits. No more. We will go to Ace. Get help from people who know their stuff. Get it the second we walk in. And do it all before our second cup of coffee. My friends, it's time to get your weekend back. Come see us at 924 West Avenue, Cartersville. Ace, the helpful place. This is Patty with Red Top Mower. Great yards demand equipment as dedicated and hardworking as you. Husqvarna is the world's largest producer of quality outdoor products, offering a full line of lawn and garden equipment, from trimmers and mowers to tillers and blowers, and so much more. Like the new Husqvarna utility vehicles, tough enough for the job site, the farm, or extreme off-roading and priced right. Visit Red Top Mower on Highway 41, 8 miles south of Main Street in Cartersville, or at redtopmower.com. Now offering 0% 36-month financing with approved credit on qualifying purchases. Husqvarna, tame the wild. Able Management Service is a full-service property management company located in Cartersville, Georgia that offers property management to service in Bartow and the surrounding county. Able Management provides tenant procurement, background checks, along with handling eviction process, re-keys, board-ups, and trash outs. Able Management can help you find the special home that you're looking for. We also handle lease purchases and corporate housing. Contact us today whether you're looking for a place to rent or for someone to manage your property. You can call us at 770-607-4001 or catch us on the web at www.ablemanagement.biz. Our local high school baseball teams work hard to look great on the field every night, while I work hard every day to help my clients look good and feel great. Hi there, my name is Adina Harper, and I'm a professional image consultant. I can help you with your skincare and glamour needs. Make sure to ask me about a complimentary makeover session to help you with that new professional look. You can find me at adinaharper.com. And remember, I'm here to help you look good and feel great. At BB&T, sharing financial knowledge is our responsibility, our privilege, and our legacy. For more than 135 years, BB&T has been sharing the knowledge our clients need to move in a brighter financial direction. We also share a commitment to our community, supporting our schools, arts, and sports programs, helping businesses grow and families become homeowners. Because when you share knowledge, you share so much more. BB&T, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Member FDIC, loan subject to credit approval, equal housing lender. Violent content. Parental discretion is advised. It's time to play the game. Wilbur. What game are we playing? Checkers. Are we playing for money? Checkers. Well, I'm not interested unless <laughs> we're playing for money. Welcome back to the Bartow Sports Showcase on News Talk AM 1270 WYXC. Got Mr. Kevin Weekly and Bob, Mr. Bob Black on the line. We're going to uh, continue having a conversation we were having just a few minutes ago in uh, regards to the University of Georgia's linebackers. Uh, you guys, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. And, I figured uh, out where Jordan Jenkins went to high school. <laughs> Harris County? got it <laughs> yeah and um he's he is the one that might make an immediate uh, an immediate impact as far as just size strength and able to step in and play 
Yeah, and I think they're going to put was... him at the wheel linebacker, which is the opposite side of Jarvis Jones. Now, now that, that's another question. Let me ask you. Georgia's terminology is will you weak side? And, and they got Mike or Sam as a, as a strong side backer? Or do you, Mo, Mo is your middle linebacker. Okay. Mike is the guy that shuffles to the middle that gets over the tackle. Strong Where side. Jarvis is, that's your Sam, which is really, in my opinion, a defensive end. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You're a defensive end, but you're in the stand up position. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then your will is... Sitting right beside me? <laughs> <laughs> but he, I couldn't help it. He, uh, he's, uh, he's on the opposite side of Jarvis, which, yeah. is, which is usually the left-hand side. I would have loved to play that weak. Sam they linebacker. They probably position. play field or something. What's that? I said they don't go strong or weak. They probably just play to the field or, or play you, the... Yeah, the, you got, they do go strong and weak sometimes. Will back have got the better speed. Yeah. The will... The, well, I mean, the way Jarvis, they've been doing Jarvis Jones is they've been putting him on the big left left tackle because he's so much faster than everybody else. Yeah, because on that blind side. Because everybody somebody protect the blind side. Yeah. So they've been trying to shuffle him to that side because none of those guys can keep up with him. Okay. All right. I'll break Well, but, yeah, um, I get off the phone, I just wanted to talk. About, I was just looking at that, and, and the first four guys had a heck of a year last year across the board. So, We're yeah. loaded at linebacker. Um, What's that? I, I think I, I think the Sterling Bailey guy is going to step up and play some. Okay, and he's decent size. He's a he's a two sixty guy, two fifty. Yeah, he, he's big and he's fast and he's been working, working, working. So yeah. and they say that he's really at, at the Outback Bowl practices. They said he was everywhere. Well, and as they develop, they're, they're young. You know, behind the starters, they're young. So you know, hopefully, they can get in there and get find out what it's all about. Step up, play. Oh yeah. So. Well, they're going to grow. They're going to grow. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, exactly. Grow. I mean, I'm looking freshman, freshman, redshirt freshman, freshman. I mean, come on. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you were a linebacker, wouldn't you want to play for Todd Grantham? I would. Absolutely. I would. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I, I, think, I, think, I think that's I like one reason. Style. I like him on the sideline, too, and I hope he don't tone it down for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I can't right, wait on Vanderbilt. I've never looked forward to Vanderbilt, but I'm looking forward to Vanderbilt. All right, Kevin. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Well, we appreciate it, Bob. Thanks for calling. Yeah, they they've definitely got some depth at linebacker. Um, I know we're having just a few few depth issues at corner. Yeah. In the uh, secondary, but oh, okay. Uh, I before we get into anything else, Kevin, I I need I want to say hi to uh, to Brandy's grandfather, Mr. Walter Crow. He uh, he's uh, been just a little Ill, Ill here lately, and he's doing a lot better today. Uh, anything that we we've heard today has been on the up and up, and that's that we're really excited to it. Um, just want to say hi to Granddaddy and uh, hope that he's doing well, and if he that he's listening tonight, and uh, we'll we'll definitely have to uh, have to talk to him soon and see how he's doing. We had a nice conversation last night about cars with baseball and high school baseball in general so uh hi to granddaddy uh brandy says hi too and i uh, <laughs> hope you're doing well today and uh hope just things keep going getting better for you but uh we are have georgia's got a little bit of prominent depth at, uh in the secondary right kevin yes that that's for sure um i think moving malcolm mitchell might be a good move yeah. yeah, and I'm just I'm just not available. I got to run the store. Yeah, and you know we've we've talked, and uh, we just can't get the I money right. I don't think I can stay in school. I don't think I can keep my GPA. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I barely got to Georgia the first time, brother. <laughs> well, guys, we got another caller on the line. Caller, you're on Barto Sports Showcase. Who's this? Casey. Hi, Casey. How's it going? Good. Thanks. How are you today? Not too bad. Doing great. What would you like to talk about this evening? Um, I've seen some uh, things on the. Facebook about the statue for Herschel Walker, and I wanted to see what Kevin had to say about that. Well, I, I'm gonna let Kevin take off with this one, and I, I'll comment after he gets through with this. Uh, so, Kevin. Well, I think I don't know if anybody has seen that Facebook group. I think it's a wonderful idea. I know it's got a little bit of negative publicity here in the last day or two, but I. Uh, the foundation that they they've put alongside of having the trophy is more important to me than the, the statue itself. Mm -hmm. But um, that 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 group got 2,000 likes, and it was just started on Monday or so. 
Yeah. So I hope he keeps the ball rolling. That guy's a real good guy, Rob's saying. He knows his Georgia football. So I hope the momentum keeps going on that thing. I think it's a great idea. I mean, can you imagine going to a Georgia game and getting a picture made with your kids standing beside the Herschel Walker statue? Yeah, that, it, it's the concept there I think is a great concept. I think what got the heat started is uh, – folks calling in and going not going through the I guess the group but going straight to athletic director and the university and saying hey we need to do this and I think that's where the bad publicity started and it kind of uh, aggravated the school just a little bit yeah. and then the, the gentleman from uh, the newspaper wrote, wrote that article and that kind of got made a little bit worse my only reservation is it, I like the idea. I know there's been they've kicked around the idea about different people to make statues like Vince Dooley, people like that. My only thing with players is when's it going to stop and who decides who gets put on. I know, I mean, you know, this is no disrespect rehearsal because he did a, you know, he, his service for Georgia was a great service and continues to be. Um, you know, how many play, how many great players have we had and how many are we going to have and where in the world we're going to put them all? Well, I think that's the, I think that's the number one problem. Is and why would you do it? just for a football player when there's all when there's other kind of people at the university doing all kinds of good things yep. that mm-hmm. are on and above football. Well, maybe a wall of plaques might be a little more applicable. I mean, there's you know, you've been to Sanford State plenty of times. In between the hedges and the seats, there's a lot of wall space. Oh, yeah. You want to put some famous players up, get a bronze plaque and put it on the wall with their name and their you know, thing on there. There's, you could fit a zillion of them in there. Oh, yeah. yeah and I- then... You know. you know, a lot of people want to name the press box the Larry Munson press box. And, now, see, that's George is just not big into recognizing people. I mean, they've only retired four jerseys in the whole history, in the whole two hundred years of football. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Larry Munson. Larry Munson was an era. You can look at Georgia anything. Larry Munson was an era. He wasn't a person. He was an era. Yeah, he he really was. To name he... it after him would be appropriate. Yeah, and thing is anytime especially now anybody that mentions georgia football or listening to it on the radio you're gonna hear one out of every two or two out of every three people go i miss listening to larry munson absolutely because he was there for so long and he w- became iconic for calling the georgia football games absolutely and, and, he, and it's different than a player or two yeah and and also he he's passed away and moved on so it's you know it's yeah, a posthumous lot of people wait to uh, recognition. Yeah. People when they've moved on. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, and like that's like I said, I don't think it's a bad idea necessarily to recognize these players. You know, Heisman Trophy winners, things like that. But we, you know, like you said, we've got a lot of players, uh, a lot of uh, athletes in I at the university. I don't think anybody can take away from the fact that Herschel might be the best college football player that ever played, or he's in the top five. Yeah. You know, anybody anybody would agree to that. And he he did a lot for the university. And there's a lot of stadiums that have statues or, you know, just kind of like the, the Vince Dooley statue at the Buttsmere building. Yeah. 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 Well, Casey, but, what, what, what are your thoughts on this? Well, I agree um, with the fact that there are too many people who have, and athletes who have performed well at the University of Georgia. And I like the idea of a wall of plaques or maybe limiting statues to players who have gotten highs and trophies, yeah. you know, who, have just, who have been recognized nationally in, in addition to what they've done in the SEC and at the University of Georgia. Well, I think a guy's like uh, Coach Jeff Wallace. He's the women's tennis coach at the University uh, of Georgia. Yeah. He's the most winningest coach in SEC history. Yeah. Now, they do have a, you know, in his office, in his area, they do have a nice little thing they built for him to recognize him and his achievements and, and the people that are on his team, but you know, yeah, I, fair play. You're gonna, you have some people that are play. I mean, football is not the only sport the university does. And I mean, I'm, football is my number one sport. But you know, I still look at these other things. You know, if you're gonna do it, you're gonna have to do it for everyone, and that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be a tough, and it's gonna be b very expensive. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you all very much. Well, we thank appreciate you for the call. Right, one, th- one thing on the financing part of it is, I think that Rob and that group were there. They were going to make it where it didn't cost the university anything. Sure. Through the foundation. So, and, and I, um, I talked to Rob today, and, and I think it's a good idea to, to just to go with the foundation from for right now and to 
work on the statue over time. Yeah, I, I think that's probably the best, the most appropriate course of action because there's got to be some way that you can do something like that. Because yeah, these people should be honored that they have done a lot for our university across the across the board. There's got to be something we can do that you can a have it now and b continue it in the future. And if you have any comments you want to make on this, call us at seven seven zero three eight two twelve seventy. You want to ask Kevin about some Georgia athletics or John about how to braid your hair? That's right. Give us a call, 770-382-1270. I have awards in that. I'm sure you do. You have a little girl. You have to. <laughs> well, you braided your hair yesterday. I had to either cut it or curl it, man. I got it cut. <laughs> it was getting long. Well, that's why I braided it, so they could cut oh, it for gosh. you. Oh, gosh. You know you liked it. Uh, you guys see what I have to put up with every Friday, Kevin. Without <laughs> you here, I did this for an hour. <laughs> yeah, did Cindy Lou and them come eat? Today, Will, did you see any of the girls? They they never did make it. I'm on Facebook talking to both of them right now. One of them's got two kids want, that wanted pizza, so she's not catch, able to catch the show at the moment. And I'm trying to instigate Cindy Lou calling in again this week. And right now, it's just it's not looking good for me. I was I was hoping Ken Ward would call in and give us a Savannah update from river street but i didn't realize he had a six-year-old daughter with him and now they're back in the room well kevin we've got another caller and i think this might be cindy so uh, hold on one second you're on the bartow sports showcase who's this cindy lou hey cindy, cindy lou. lou what's going on how are y'all doing uh just talking a little foot a little georgia waiting, waiting on you to call <laughs> yeah i figured with pregnant <laughs> anticipation <laughs> oh lord my wife is at the studio window smiling ear to ear that you called in I thought you. I thought you were going to be on there live today, Cindy. Well, we tried to get her down here. I put on shine. <laughs> I, I got it. Cindy Lou does me right. She um, she she knows how to doll up pictures and fix up. She can take a regular old picture on Facebook and do anything to it. So I've been I've been asking a lot of her, and she's been a big help to me, and I really do appreciate it. So there's hope for pictures of me. No. I don't, well, if we black it out. <laughs> And I believe you've been Kevin. my wife, Kevin, haven't you? There's always the delete button. <laughs> Atta boy, Kevin. There is hope. <laughs> hey, where's my girl Brandy? She is in the other room. She has actually got the paint bug today, and she is painting our back office at the moment. And if, I, if she can hear me, she was just at the window a second ago. She's working. Leave her alone. It's so hard it, to get her here started. She come, oh, now you did. Here she comes. It. Come on. Uh, it'll never get done now. Cindy Lou, Cindy Lou, are you coming to G-Day? I just talked to Ken Ward on the telephone. I'm, I'm trying my best, but y'all know I got tornado damage. I'm trying to, I'm trying. Well, well, well. What's happening with your car? Well, I'm still waiting to hear from my insurance company, but they, the guy told me he thought it was going to be a total, going to total out. So I'm just waiting to hear from him. And well, Ken will bring him on the way. Yeah. Bad. It's bad. Well, we'll all come and help you fix it up, and then we'll all go down to the G-Day game. Yeah, I, I just found out that I'm going to be freed up for that weekend, so I'm going to be able to come down there on the G-Day game, Kevin. Good. We will be at the Tate Center parking deck on the second level o overlooking the dog walk. Woo! We will have Georgia Mountain spring water and Bulldog beer and food, and I would like for everybody to come by there and meet and talk, and some of these people that you only see through typing, we might can put a face on. Absolutely. Right. We have us a big... WYXC tailgate party. Well, I'm not going if Cindy Lou Who's not going to be there. There you go, Cindy Lou. That's <laughs> food and beer right there. That's right. My girl Brandy, y'all don't be messing with Brandy. <laughs> Every no, no day I live for it, actually. No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I know better. You know you're going to have us both to deal with when we get to D-Day. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'll, I'll be smiling the whole time anyway. I'm all right with it. He'll run off with Will and Kevin. We'll never see him again. That's right. <laughs> No, whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I don't know about all that. I mean, maybe maybe later that afternoon you might. No, you're yeah. killing me. <laughs> I'll take the keys with me. me. <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on with all the arrests on our team? Uh, it's over with. Yeah, uh, I believe We're it is. that behind us. That hurts my heart. We may have to lock, we may have to lock that. downtown Athens though or take the get the bus to go the opposite way I don't know how but anyway they something's got to give there yeah guys Kevin will tell you that I will defend my dogs to the point of going redneck and I don't like to go redneck but I know how <laughs> and I will defend them 
<laughs> oh, she will not give them a break. Oh, no. no. I, it, I love my boys. I love my boys. But something has got to give. These guys are, are, are sick of the chosen few, and they are blowing it. They are just blowing it. And it well, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Brandon Smith on Monday. Yeah, yeah. it really will. Not to be negative, but um, well, we'll see what you know. See if it, it was really, you know, if it was really his. And I don't want to get in all into this because it's, you know, but it's, yeah, I, I don't either. I, I just hope he goes in there and tells the whole truth, nothing but the truth, and just and just get it over with and move Coach on. Rick, so not, he's not going to kick him off the team. Yeah. No. Um, you know, I mean, and our rules at Georgia are a lot stricter than the other teams. And that's good. They need to be. I wonder though, sometimes if they don't need to even be stricter than what they are. Well, I think there'll be some changes in that, Cindy Lou. The NCAA's pretty much left it on the universities to to do yeah. whatever they want to do, but I'm not going to say I think it bothers me because these guys, they, they say they want to come here and play foreign coach because he's such a good man, and then it's just like, wow, what are y'all thinking? You got to remember what it was like to be 18, 19, 20 years old, though. It, it's tough. You think, but don't you, think you're, you think you're invisible. Yeah, and then add some fame on top of that. Athlete, I mean, you got to put yourself at a higher standard. You got to get out there, and that's just my opinion. That's yeah. just my opinion. Well, these guys uh, are going to have to realize that when they get there, they're under the microscope of oh, yeah. every single oh, sure. news outlet. Sure. And I'm sure it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure when they're 45 years old or 50 years old, and they're sitting back thinking about, it, they're going to say that's the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. Well, that could have cost me my college and possibly pro career. Yeah. Career. But thing that's is. Exactly right. Depending on how he looks at it, he's done messed up. He's done got in trouble for it. He's got to go in, talk to coach, get everything straightened out with him, take his punishment, take it like a man, and move on. He's got to put it behind him and move forward. Whether he's out two games, three games, six games, it doesn't matter. He's got to practice and work out with the team, still be a part of the team as much as he can, and just get past it. Yep. Well, we, we will see what happens, I but I wish the best one. Oh, it's all right. I mean, it's it's things that we need to talk about, things that have happened, and you know, it's it's something. It depends on how you look at it. You can look at it in a negative light, or this might be something that's happened to where these younger guys will look and go, "All right, you know what? I need to make sure." Not to act. Exactly. Uh, yeah. If if it can happen to him, it can happen to me. Yep. Right. Absolutely. And I hope that's the case. I hope that's the case because I really believe, y'all know that I believe this is the year of our boys. I really believe that. Oh, I do too. And, and it's all these guys got to work hard and stay, stay, above, stay above the yuck. <laughs> Influence. The Missouri game has got a lot more interesting with us being a defensive back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And Missouri's a high-octane they, offensive they've team. They've got the number one recruit in the nation as a wide receiver, and he's about 6'4". So that's one reason they moved Malcolm Mitchell defensive back. We'll see how it works out. We, we're going to be we're going to be good. And we're going to be fun. I'm looking forward to a great year. Oh yeah, Mark Rick, he's got this. He's got this. I believe so. I listen to him and let him guide him because he'll take them in the right direction. They just gotta kill a little bit. Absolutely. Well, thanks for calling. Well, we you're pre- very welcome. Y'all have a great night. You, you too, too, Cindy. You have a good night. She, 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 yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, I was reading ESPN today during my 30-second lunch break, and um, they had a really good write-up on Florida. They had a um, – what are you laughing at? You know it's true. Yeah, that's, that is true. <laughs> I, I was there while you were taking your 30-second lunch break. Yeah. Um, they had a really good write-up, Kevin. I don't know if you had a chance to look at it or not about uh, Florida's offense and defense. That You know, obviously, defensively, they're pretty good, but offensively, they're really, uh, really struggling. And we got another caller in line. We'll get back to it here in just a minute. You're on the Bartow Sports Showcase. Who's this? Bob again. Hey, Bob. How you doing, man? Not too bad. I was just here in the last conversation with Cindy Lou, and I, I played one year for Burt Russell at George Southern. And, you know, she said that the, the book of team rules, he, George Coach Russell had one team rule, do right. Do right. Yeah. And, if it, and, if, and that was it. It wasn't a big, long list. You know, I was just do right. So if you didn't do right in the class, and you didn't do right at curfew, or, there were consequences. So, and Paul Johnson has taken that to the Georgia Tech dressing room on the wall at Georgia Tech, the new facility over at Georgia Tech. So, awesome. It, it, it's pretty simple. Yeah, it really is. I, you know, I, I, it's black and white. Yeah, there's yeah. no gray area. 
just do right. And, and, and that carries on to your, you know, fat fifty something like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> See you later, Bob Black. And, uh, well, we, we appreciate the call, Bob. I don't know if he hung up. Or yeah, I he, think he said, I'm going to go. Okay. Well, we've, we've got about about two more minutes, uh, about two, three minutes left, Kevin. Uh, you know, I just hope everybody can learn from this and move on. But I really, I really think that this year is going to be a great year for the dogs. And just I just want to see how all these young guys that got recruited and have signed and come on to campus, how they're going to do especially this spring yeah i'm looking forward to the gd gate we're so focused on this this recruiting class our last four recruiting classes have been great yeah Yeah. and it's time for some guys that they're going to have the opportunity it's time for some people to step up and play yep and um and if if y'all want to talk next friday night we'll have uh three or four days of spring practice under our belt i'll try to get by there and take a look at it see what's going on sounds great well we appreciate it and I will talk to y'all. Go dogs. Go dogs. Have a great weekend. Bye. 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 Stay away from the green beer. Because <laughs> that's if you want the forecast for, for uh, Savannah, River Street, it's, you know, the green beer flows and the green face leave. <laughs> <laughs> the green beer come, the green face leave. Sorry. Anyways. Uh, uh, we got about a minute, a minute and a half left. Right before we go, I want to say thank you to our spo- uh, some of our other sponsors, Red Top Mower, Miss Patty Loveless. They're great. Lawn mowers, weed eaters, chainsaws, generators, go karts. <laughs> I'm still working on that go kart. One day. One day. One day. She's one day. Up, leave the keys or, I mean, I'd be all right with it with a little mini dirt bike. I could, hot, mm-hmm. I could put you in a hot wire one of them things. I got just enough mechanical ability to make that happen. <laughs> uh-uh. I, I ain't stealing one from her. She might shoot me. She probably would. She, she sent that dis- granddaughter on you anyway. From, yeah, my little buddy, she'd mess me up. That's right. Anyways, y'all, if y'all need some outdoor equipment, especially getting started, getting springtime, I know my weeds are growing faster than the grass right now, so go see them and uh, and get your, uh, get your equipment either running or get it brand new. That's right. And body by vi, Miss Brandy Underwood. Send her an email if you want to lose weight and get real get healthy. B N U eight seven eight four at gmail dot com. She will send you all the information that you need. We really appreciate all of them sponsoring our show. Uh, Wilbur, I really appreciate you being in here. It's always a pleasure, sir. I was able to you know behave myself even though my little filter wasn't working so good today. <laughs> <laughs> we really appreciate Kevin. We're glad to have Kevin back. Absolutely. Uh, Kevin's been through some some rough stuff with his family but we we got word today that everything is going great that's always news um, we want to hear he he is just ecstatic about how well things are going right now and uh you know we're happy for him we've all been thinking and praying for him and uh you know i just want to say hi to mr walter crow uh brandy's grandfather again uh glad he's doing better um but check us out on facebook Barto sports showcase on facebook or you can go check out our new website that's right. BartosportsShowcase.com. And uh, we've got, you can listen to us online there. We've got me, uh, little bios of me, Will, and Kevin. Uh, but we appreciate everybody listening. And you're listening to uh, News Talk AM 1207 WYXC. Cartersville, Georgia. Yeah, you love it. Communications is an important part of our lives. Cell phones, smartphones, iPhones, and droids connect us all with our family, friends, and business. I'm Jay Williams and represent Verizon Wireless and can offer you the best coverage with packages that will fit your budget. You have my personal guarantee that I can give you the best price on comparable phones and equipment. Pressed for time, I come to your home or office to service your account and to help you with the transition to Verizon Wireless. No need to drive to the store. Call me today, Jay Williams, 770-547. 9,000. This is Bill Thrasher. See you Saturday mornings, 8 to 10 a.m. for Bartow's Saturday Morning Live here on Cartersville's Fox News Station, News Talk, AM 1270, WYXC. Fox Sports News, go now. I'm Deb Carson. Brackets busting all over the country. But first, this Fox National Sports Report brought to you by the Home Depot. Next time your electric or plumbing or heating equipment throws you a curb, swing by the Home Depot for low prices on the right solutions. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. And guess what? Norfolk State has some power of its own. Still pressing, driving, three-pointer for the win. No good! And the 
Spartans are Cinderella in Omaha. Norfolk State becomes the fifth team, seated number 15 in NCAA history. Number 15, Norfolk State breaking the hearts of number two, Missouri, 86-84 on Westwood 1. So uh, Norfolk State advancing to face Florida, who dumped Virginia earlier today, 71-45. This is Fox Sports Radio. Join me, John Underwood, every Friday evening at 6 p.m. for the Bartow Sports Showcase. We will talk local high school sports, college sports, and UGA athletics. There will be some confusion and a little bit of laughter. Check us out on Facebook, Bartow Sports Showcase, or BartowSportsShowcase.com.